What is up? Turtle here coming at you with a Pokemon Mail Day video. We got a lot of cool stuff today. We have a bunch of PSA cards, some raw cards, and a single sealed product thing, which we'll actually show off from this view. And that is some more of the Sword and Shield pre-release build and battle boxes. We have a case, uh, which is 10 boxes, which is pretty cool. I think I'll probably just keep this guy sealed in my sealed collection and I don't know way down the line if there's ever a global shortage of chinchinos or something or those really boons which i kind of doubt we'll crack that open uh see if we can get some of those but uh yeah just something cool to add to our sealed collection and right away we're going to actually move this into view we have a handful of psa cards some sealed or uh, raw cards in there as well we're going to start off with something that's not too vintagey but i did think was pretty cool and that is a from Heart Gold Soul Silver Triumphant Victory Bell Hollow, and this is Gem Mint 10. So um, when you kind of look at this card, you know the art is nothing too crazy. 2010 is not too old. The interesting thing about this card is the pop reports. Uh, checking the PSA website, I believe there are only nine copies of them, and most of them are 10. Uh, but you know, I I like the idea of kind of picking up cards that are very much under the radar uh, but as kind of like new levels of completionists come to popularity these cards that are you know less than double digit pop I think could be worth quite a bit down the line so this is very much a super cheap right now you know way down the line who knows what it could happen and next we have some cards that I kind of just like and that is from 2000 oh still the triumphant actually uh, these are the primes I'm um, not sure why they call them primes, but they kind of have the unique border and the art I do find is really unique They they are kind of like 3d ish CGI ish Which is a turn off of some people kind of like how the V Pokemon are right now uh, But I do like how they feel very zoomed in on the Pokemon themselves So we did get the mute and this one is a PSA 9 And then we got the Celebi Celebi prime very cool PSA 9 again Slow King, so just like a, a seller on eBay was kind of just I don't know if they're offloading the collection or they already have the tens and so they don't feel like they need the nines anymore. But all these were picked up at a very good price in my opinion. So Slow King right there, and as you can see with all these arts, they are super zoomed in. I do like this Don Fan one, Don Fan PSA nine. Uh, this one is just Heart Gold Soul Silver. Then we have something from Undaunted, the Raichu. And that is the last of our primes for this mail day. And then we're moving to 2005 during the EX era. This thing is nothing too crazy, but uh, eventually we'll try to pick up all these. This one's not too high priority. It's only a PSA 7, so this was uh, picked up for quite cheap. And we just figured, hey, we'll toss that offer out there, and it was accepted. So a Manectric EX. This is, once again, super 3D-ish. And moving on, we have Delta Species. This one is a little bit higher uh, on my to-do list. I really like the Delta Species. I thought it was a really cool mechanic that I have to imagine is not coming back now that there's things like Alolan and Galarian where they already changed the type. So I feel like that kind of uh, definitely would replace these mechanics of Delta Species, which is kind of unfortunate. I thought these were really cool. Uh, this one's not the craziest one, a Crobat a, of Grass type. And by, <laughs> interesting enough, we got a, a Dark Crobat as well, kind of random, from EX Team Rocket Returns. I do like that art though. Alright, we're going to hit some uh, raw cards. And we've been talking a lot how we want to do the Expedition, basically the e-reader series, so Expedition, Skyridge, and Aquapolis. Uh, and I do want to have binder collections. So all these cards, you know, they're not in great shape, but that's fine because they would be going in the binder. Interesting about this set is I think I might just try to complete the set, whether it's reverse or the regular hollow. Um, the reverse is actually really cheap. Um, so most of these are reverses and just to complete a binder collection of the whole kind of like rare whether it's a reverse or foil set probably start and then we'll work on completing both of them most likely all of it will be almost all of it will be reverse as these were surprisingly affordable so then we got the blossom scissor lantern 
Parasect e-reader was a period of kind of like during my, I don't know, 15 plus year hiatus from Pokemon. Oh, I love that tentacle, tentacruel art. So, and I feel like this was kind of during a time when Pokemon itself just wasn't that popular. Um, and so I feel like a lot of these sets just kind of went under the radar. This Magnetite, I do like this, uh, the reverse foil for like the Steel type was done really well. We have the Metal Energy, which I believe basically reduced damage by 10. And then I do love this art. I believe this is one of those cards where like the PSA 9, PSA 10 is very expensive for the rare or for the foil. And you can kind of tell why that art is just really cool. And then we have one more that kind of came in this hard case and that is a Polyrath uh, non-foil though. But still pretty cool. Help out that binder collection. And then we have a handful of PSA cards for the e-reader series. This one is a reverse PSA 9 or Raichu from Expedition. And then we got PSA 8 only, but it was from the Hollow in the Vile Plume. So actually we're, we're filling out this collection very quickly and this almost always happens where you pick up a handful of cards, maybe like 40% of the set for really good price and then it's that last 60 percent that you know the price just kind of spikes hard so finishing out will probably be much more difficult than you know our initial wave has been uh but then here's that magneton again for the reverse it's just so much shine on it i imagine it'd be very difficult to get a 10. all right and then the last two is actually the same card but reverse and non-reverse both psa 9 the golem i really like this golem uh, I've been, I said this before where I feel like the Expedition, a lot of these cards, they, to me, it, it almost feels like, remember the game Pokemon Snap? And like, imagine like the Pokemon in the wild and these are just like photos taken of them in the wild uh, as opposed to from a trainer. And I just get that feeling. I feel like the Tentacruel is a good example. The Blast, oh, that Blastoise art is amazing. And this Golem, I'm a huge fan of this art. So I was really happy to pick up not only the Golem itself, but the reverse as well. All right, then we have one more card, guys. Uh, I think it's this one. All right, so basically, at this point, we've picked up many different Charizards. Uh, at one point, it kind of started with the Japanese and Ultra Shiny, and then they did a Korean printing before they did Hidden Fates. But then they also did a Chinese printing that we did manage to pick up. So we got the Shiny Charizard in three or oh, four different languages at this point, if you include English. I believe there's a couple European language. Draft Keru, Draft Keru, something with an F. Um, I'm not sure if that's French, but I think there's at least a couple other languages. Uh, that's not too high on my priority list to get all the shiny charges, but I thought that was pretty cool. And the Chinese one did find a list on eBay. We'll see if we can find the other ones, but again, that's not too high on my priority list. I think I do want to keep going at this expedition and I actually change like my eBay queries to look for. PSA 10, you know, the last few or the rest of them that's going to be pretty expensive anyway. I'd rather not have to search for it twice to find like the 9 and then the 10. So maybe we'll just be patient going forward and picking opportunities to pick up those Gem Mint 10s uh, to round out our expedition or the whole E Series collection. Uh, but that's going to be it for me today. Just a uh, smattering of stuff that we added to the collection over the past like month or so. Uh, we're going to continue to do these. I think, you know, obviously we're going to continue to do openings, but I really want to focus on some of the more vintage stuff and work on kind of like our PSA and binder collection. So, um, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are down below. And uh, yeah, what do you feel like it's the next set, next set to blow up? Because obviously that's what we want to target uh, before they kind of become mainstream and everyone's looking for them. And now's the time to shine. Now's the time to get them. Let me know if you have any thoughts. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.